it's an ugly looking thing. It's like a this big butcher knife, and they have little cuts on both sides. Oh, yeah. And, you know, yeah. and, I, and you know, I'm <laughs> thinking, one of these days, they're going to hit a leg or something. Yes. I mean, they do it so fast. I mean, it's scary to watch yes. these guys. Yeah. So that's why they have to be fully insured. Right. Right. Well, and what scares me most about that scenario is that um, most of us now have a $2,500 deductible on our house. So if our gardener blows out our front windows or something mm -hmm. and they don't have insurance, who's paying for the repair? The person that owns that house. Yeah, because you can't yes. file a claim because, again, we have a large deductible. So, mm -hmm. you right. know, there's a lot of reasons to worry about it. That is. And, guys, hang on. You're not going anywhere, right? No. Nope. Okay, good. All right, we have uh, Steve Narongo yep. Jr. on the line. Hold on, hold on, Bev. Before we do that, I have something to say. What? Listen. We are farmers. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Okay, now. That's a better late than late. Yes, <laughs> late than never. Late <laughs> than never moment. Good job. <laughs> Thank you, Mia. <laughs> okay, hey, yeah, Steve. You there? Hello? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, and we can hear you now. Can you hear me? Yes, it's Beth. Yeah, it sounds like we're AT and T. Can you hear me now? That's <laughs> Verizon. Oh, Verizon. Okay. How you doing, Beth? We no, we're doing good. We're getting. I think we're getting the uh, silly willies around here. It's getting slop happy or something. <laughs> That's okay. Whatever you're drinking, I want some. Me too. It's Starbucks <laughs> coffee, darling. Oh, that's okay. We'll take it. There you go. So, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. How about yourself? Not bad. And we have Barbara and Daniel here from Farmers Insurance. Hey, and, Steve. you know, Mia is with us on the board. And now, Great. Steve, would you tell us a little bit? You are from Nightlife Productions. Yes, Nightlife Productions, Global DJ Service. We also do promotions and concerts and dances. And, you know, we just get involved with the community as well. We also do nonprofit events. And I am so glad. And why don't you bump out your phone number while I got you before we continue this journey? Sure. It's 909-499-6800. One more time. 909-499-6800. I'm so glad you did that. And Steve and I, as everybody knows here at the station, we have done a lot of events together. We're going to be doing more events. We're coming up with a new journey right now. And then, uh, Steve, you want to tell them what's going on at the Morongo this Friday night? Well, tonight yeah. we have the Blackbirds. And if you remember that song, Walking in Rhythm, then you know exactly which band I'm talking about. Oh, I do yeah. know that. And that yeah, it has yeah. some good beat to it. Oh, yeah. It's going to be off the hook. Uh, for those that missed last week, we had Andre Fisher out there with the Curtis Mayfield Legacy. And let me tell you, it was so off the hook. I even seen Bev dancing, and you, you were in your boot. Oh, that's right. We were dancing, weren't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Barbara and I had some fun with that one song. Huh? Yes, we did. Yeah. Yeah, we, it was a blast. I mean, everybody was out there. So you know the quality of the Morongo Casino is, of course, at the top. I don't think anybody really compares to that. I mean, they're just really, really you know, hospitable, and everybody there is just so gracious. From the top management all the way down to the person that lets you inside the door, you know. And uh, well, this week they have, you know, the Blackbirds. They're going to be putting on a real good concert. You know, I invite everybody to come on down. And uh, I know you had a great time. It was your first time there, right, Beth, Barbara? Well, actually, we've been there before, oh, but we've never seen a concert there before. Mm -hmm. But oh, I have to yeah. say that it, it was just a class act, and it was a safe environment. A lot yes. of times you go to concerts, nightlife. It's not a safe environment, and mm -hmm. it really was, Steve. You, you put on one great show. Yes. So let me let me correct you because that's not me. I'm just a part, a small part of a big thing. Uh, Bruce McClure is the executive director. He he actually put together all those shows. He brings in all this entertainment. In fact, his dad was in the the business many many years ago. Uh, they they would have Elvis. They would have the Jackson. Wow. All these big names. I mean that you can imagine. He knows them all through his dad. He's been doing this forever. His dad was involved, and so he has. You know, he's been involved. He's a great guy, and, and you know. To the to the casino out there, and I'm going to tell you that is one gorgeous building. It is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and you know one of the things that I well, there's a lot that I really love about that whole place. But one of the things that Barbara and I got really excited, and I know Mia will when we get her up there. Oh, I know is, what we're going to say. Right, the spa. <laughs> they have the most gorgeous spa 
ever in this whole area. And then right next to it, they have the, the pool area. And, you know, it's really nice for, for the ladies uh, if you just want to go away, you know, for about four hours during yes. the day or something. You get some of your uh, girlfriends together and go up, go to the spa. You have to call, you know, make a reservation, of course. Go in, do the spa thing, and then go to the pool and relax at the pool. Have They have a fantastic restaurants up there. The food is to die for, it really. And, you know, I love food. I, I really do. And they, you know, and do that and then maybe do a little gambling or a little shopping. Yes. And then right down the road is in the shopping center. Yeah. Right. Nice. Right. And so, you know, the, the ladies can get together or the guys can go and play golf or whatever they want to do. And it's just a charming lovely place and Barbara you're right it is so safe in there yes. and you feel so secure yes they have enough security guards that when your vehicles are parked in the parking lot if you don't uh, do it with the, VI, the valet valet right. thank you uh, you know everything is safe and, and you can go and relax and just have a good time I have a question for Steve what is it sure who, who, do we, who can we expect after tonight because we know who's coming tonight who's coming in the next four weeks well, you know, I don't have the entire list with me, uh, but I know we have the jazz band next week. And then we also have uh, coming up on, if you like country music. Yes. You like all oh, the yeah. good country music from the old days, you know, the good stuff, you know, like the... Mo uh, Haggard older. Got it. Oh, all, <laughs> that, all that great stuff. Well, we've got Billy Erickson and Jerry Boone. And they're they're coming to the Morongo on March 22nd in the vibe oh. right there. It's going to be really great. Oh, very nice. I'm going to be getting you guys some tickets. Yeah. You can guys start getting them out there. And also, want to let everybody know that on Bev's show, yes, we're going to be doing a lot of interviews in the very near future mm-hmm. with a lot of these great artists coming down to the Morongo Casino. You know, KCA is really on top of it, and I want to give a big you know big props to um, Fred Lundgren for allowing all this to take place. Of course, Bev, she's you know a strong person in making this happen as well. You know, it's just awesome to work with a great team. Well, thank you for that. Right back at you, kiddo. Yeah. Yeah. Great. And now the jazz band, that's next week, the 15th, isn't it? Yes, the jazz band. Yeah, they did some songs like, you know, let it, uh, let's see, uh, gosh, I'm trying to remember them all now. I believe it was, I don't want let it whip, and yeah, that was one of their, their strong hits, and you can look it up on the internet, YouTube, and all that. It was really nice. a great song. Uh, that was just one of them. you got to look them up because these guys are just awesome. They have, there's a lot of story behind that one. We'll talk about that a little bit more next week. Mm-hmm. But they're just awesome. They've been there before. And every time they go, they pack the house. So you really want to get out there. And Do you have tickets for that one yet, Ben? Yes. Away? You do? Okay, great. So, you know, you want some good tickets to a good concert. Well, you got to check with, you know, let's go shopping with Ben because she got all the stuff that's happening in the IE. Well, thank you, Steve, and um, I'm glad you're part of us here on KCAA 1050 AM, NBC News Radio. And if you just tuned in, you're listening to Let's Go Shopping with Bev, and we have Steve Morongo Jr. from Nightlife Productions on the phone with us, and we were talking about all the concerts and all the good stuff that's happening up at Morongo. Also, we have Barbara and Daniel from Farmers Insurance, and Mia is on the board with us. And now, Steve, before we have to let you go, honey, is there anything else you want to tell us? Well, just come on down and, and be safe on those roads because it's going to be, you know, a little wet out there tonight. But you know what? Just take your time, get out there, and we can just get really up, have a good time, and party. Yes. Yeah. Now, Steve, wait a minute. Hang on. Don't hang up yet, honey. Hey, we're trying to dance. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they're, they're trying to tell me Actually, something yes, from. It's Kevin. Oh, yeah. Hey, Steve, Kevin. stay on. Kevin's with us. Oh, great. How are you? Hey, Kevin, how you doing? Doing great. Good. And this is Kevin Tony and Mr. Tony. Yeah, uh, there you go. He is part of the Blackbirds. And would you like to tell all of our listeners uh, a little bit about your band, please? Yeah, okay. Well, well I'm one of the original Blackbirds. Um, uh, from, and our group got started back in the mid-70s when we were all college students at Howard University in Washington, D.C. We were full-time students, and, and we had come to study with our professor, who was the renowned uh, Donald Byrd, jazz trumpeter, uh, educator, Dr. Donald Byrd, mm-hmm. uh, who recently passed away, too. Um, so we're here in tribute to him as well as doing the show tonight at Milango. But we have um, we record, we've recorded about eight 
uh, uh, album. And we're known for several hits, such as Walking in Rhythm. I'm walking yes. in rhythm. I love that song. I'm singing my song. We're known for that. That's one of our biggest hits. That was a top, uh, uh, top uh, pop song, uh, R&B, and easy listening. We are also known for our song, Rap Creek Park. Doing it in the park. Doing it at the dark. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we won't tell anybody what people used to do in the park. We're known for that. We're known for happy music. We're known for a, a lot of songs. We've had a lot of hit songs. We've had a lot of success throughout our early years. We were young kids when we were making those records. Uh, we're here tonight. And by the way, also, we are, uh, we have four gold records, four, four million sellers. Walking in Living was a million wow. seller. Wow. We've had four. R-I-A-A Gold Records. We're Grammy nominated twice. We're two-time Grammy nominated um, band. Um, Self-contained band. We do all original. We are writers. We producers. We composers. <coughs> um, we are here tonight at 10.30 at the Morongo Casino in the Vibe Room. We have a show at 10.30. It's going to be a fabulous show that's going to showcase all of our repertoire, our body of work that we've had over the last almost going on 40 years, believe it or not. That's and fantastic. And also give a special tribute to Donald Bird, our founder, uh, who, again, um, guys, you may rest in peace, who passed away uh, earlier last month. Wow. And so that's who, that's, that's who we are. Right, Bird, my name is Kevin Tony. We have a couple of our original guys that are here tonight, along with some of L.A.'s finest musicians. And we're just deep and excited about, um, about our show here. We want to see everybody out here tonight. We will also have um, some CDs to sell for people who want to buy our music. We have some of our uh, original uh, recordings. Um, we want to also just mention to, you know, them that... We also will uh, be featuring some of our, our members on um, some of their um, solo projects that they've done. And it's going to be a great mixture of music tonight, partying, having fun, and, 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 and remembering of uh, our founding uh, person who founded the group, Donald Bird. Well, it's in its, uh, it sounds absolutely fantastic. And also, like Kevin was saying, the performance starts at 1030. The doors open up at 9 o'clock. And what all of us did last week, when, uh, uh, some of us had the opportunity to be out there, go a little early. You know, park your car, go into one of the lounges here, and they have that tequila bar, which was a lot of fun. And we, the, they have good food. Really, really, really good food there. And so a bunch of us uh, got there, and we had a little something to eat. We relaxed, and we went in to see the concert, and it was just absolutely one fabulous night. Yes. And you also have to be 21 or older. If you're under 21, forget about it. You're not getting in. Well, that's right. And I'm not sneaking anybody in here either, okay? There you go. And then if you all need more information, you can call the Morongo at 888-MORONGO. That's 888-MORONGO. Yes? All right. got to sneak in here real quick now. Now, for those that don't know, you know, Kevin Tony, you know, he's performed some, some of these great artists like Aretha Franklin, Stevie Wonder. Uh, we got Nancy Williams, Whitney Houston, Shania Twain, Frank Sinatra, wow. Carl Anderson, Oscar Brown Jr., oh Shirley Caesar, Isaac Hayes, Norman Brown. Uh, I mean, the list goes forever. I mean, it's it just... It Holy moly. I didn't know that. Well, well absolutely. That and, and, and not only that, there's more, too. Um, I mean, besides me being a, one of the original Blackbirds and doing this, I'm also a, a pretty acclaimed, um, you know, Solo artists. I have CDs out on my own. I have. Uh, I'm Grammy nominated in my own right, and I am a recording artist who performs and travels around the, around the world too. Nice. Doing my music, so I get to do some of the, some of that both of that tonight. I want an autographed picture. <laughs> 